Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Formatting tables in Word lets you clarify the data and enhance its appearance. Word has many pre-created table formats you can apply to your tables. In addition to these table styles, you can also select individual elements of the table and then apply your own custom formatting if desired. To apply a table style, click Into the Table to Format. Then click the Table Design Contextual tab in the ribbon. The table styles appear in a list in the Table Styles button group. Use the arrow buttons to the right to scroll through the list and click a style to apply it to the table. You can click the More button below the arrow buttons to fully expand the list if desired. To modify the styles that appear in the Table Styles list, check or uncheck the check boxes in the Table Style Options button group to decide what elements of the table styles to apply or remove before clicking the style to apply it. For example, to apply a total row to your table, check that option in the Table Style Options button group. Alternatively, to apply custom formatting modifications to a selected table element, like a selected cell, column, or row, select the table element to format. To change the shading or fill color of the selected cells, click the Shading drop-down button in the Table Styles button group and then select a background color from its drop-down menu. To apply or remove borders to or from the selected cells, click the Borders drop-down button in the Borders button group on the Table Design Contextual tab in the ribbon. In this button's drop-down menu, any highlighted border buttons are applied to the selected cells. Non-highlighted border buttons are not applied. Click any border button shown in the drop-down menu to apply or remove it. To apply or remove a preset custom border style, click the Border Styles drop-down button in the Borders button group, and then click the style to apply from the drop-down menu that appears. Alternatively, to create a custom border style, use the Line Style, Line Weight, and Pen Color drop-downs to select the border's style, thickness, and color. Selecting any of these buttons also enables the Border Painter button. To apply the custom border, when the Border Painter button is enabled, click the table border in the document to which to apply the selected border style. Alternately, you can also click the Borders drop-down button again, and then select to which borders to apply the current border style for the currently selected cells from the drop-down menu that appears. If needed, to disable the Border Styles button to restore your normal mouse pointer cursor, click the Border Painter button or press the Escape key on your keyboard to turn it off. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.